Welcome back to DT Daily, I'm Janelle Padilla. Coming up today, a new micro 3D printer blows up on Kickstarter, Google pushes glass in the workplace, and researchers create a game controller that can sense your emotions. When MakerBot unveiled the Replicator Mini at CES earlier this year, our editorial staff honored it with the Best in Show Award for ushering in the age of household 3D printing. But leave it to a Kickstarter project to turn the dial to 11. The Micro 3D launched its funding campaign this week, boldly claiming to be the most affordable, space efficient, and quietest 3D printer ever made. Physically, it's small, allowing for a print height of only 4.6 inches. Price-wise, though, it's tiny. At a special Kickstarter price of only 300 bucks, the Micro 3D is a cool grand less than the MakerBot Mini. It's designed to be easy to use, featuring automatic settings and simple interactive software. And this promises to be an every man's 3D printer. It's seen record-breaking interest on Kickstarter, blowing past their funding goal in a mere 11 minutes. For all the doubters who think Google Glass is only for technophiles and attention seekers, we have some news for you. Google is rolling out a program called Glass for Work. Right now, most of the apps that run on Glass are consumer focused. However, a small number of developers are sending the headgear into places like operating rooms and oil fields to see how professionals can use it. To encourage more business use of Glass, Google is reaching out to explorers, trying to discover unique ways they use the wearable gadget in the workplace. Google hasn't elaborated on what the Glass for Work program will lead to, but it sure does appear that two years after Glass's introduction, Google is still searching for a killer app for Glass. Once upon a time, two buttons and a four-way pad were cutting-edge interactive video game tech. Now, fast forward 30 years. Gone are the simple A and B buttons, and pretty soon, your gaming controller will be able to sense how you feel. That's because a group of researchers at Stanford modified an Xbox controller and added sensors that monitor the player's pulse and breathing rate. With this data, they're able to monitor vitals along with how demanding the game is. The goal is for a console to sense how challenged the gamer is at any given point. And if it appears that they're starting to get bored, the game can, say, send in more zombies. Combine this with VR headsets and gaming is really starting to look more like a science experiment instead of, well, video games. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.